I may not always chat, but when I do, I'm here to hydrate my streamer. Well, I appreciate you, yes, now, because again, I do not nearly drink as much water as I should. And that's part of why I gave that to you guys, because I forget that shit. I really do. Alright, let's have a look. Part one. Oh god, that's 70 difficulty with a tonnage limit of 310. I mean, we're gonna try it anyway. But we're, we're, we're definitely not gonna be taking Hunchback Squad on this one. I don't think Hunchback Squad's gonna do very good on this mission. Uh, let's see. I think... I think we bring in Mad Squad. Wait, who is it? Okay, you are the one that gets the 3D. And the other mans, it doesn't matter. So we're we're gonna bring in Mad Squad, and I'm gonna take out the AC-20 Rifleman. And we probably shouldn't be playing games on a mission this difficult, but you know what? You know what? We gotta take this puppy out for a test drive at some point. Alright, Jeff, let's make it hot. I apologize in advance if we completely screw the poop. It's my first time in a rifleman. Not sure how I feel about being stuck way out in front of the entire rest of the mech, but on the plus side, if it goes critical, I should be less likely to be caught in the explosion. I guess that's a plus. Uh, weapon groups, just the AC-20s, please. Uh, let us chain fire so that we can conserve some ammo. In order to lay our ambush for the St. Ives Sentinels, we must first take control of a large telecommunications disk used to communicate with the capital world of Vestalus IV. Given its importance to the security of Vestalus III, it is heavily guarded by planetary militia. You are to assist the Second Confederation... It's also apparently heavily guarded by artillery. Oh man, I gotta get used to how this thing fires again. Okay, you're toast. Man, we're, we're going heat critical on this thing already. Alright. Well, let's get on task. I'm not gonna get stuck in a furball here. Oh, hi, Mark. Ah, uh, well, there we go. Whoops! Come here, you. Wait, I can't even- oh, right, be- I was, like, trying to melee, and then I was like, why can't I melee? I thought I was in a hunchback. I'm in a rifleman, Jet. I had a dirt. I'm sorry, I had a dirt. I don't know, the, the word you're looking for is not bold. The word you're looking for is stupid, Steel Shark. It's okay to say it. I don't deny it. Not only two AC-20s in a dream, but two AC-20s in a dream in a rifle. Like, this is not a brawler, but I'm using it as one. Because again, bad tactical decisions. Come on, boys. There we go. Outstanding. Outstanding. Don't tell me that, Rihanna. Yeah, it's... it. Well, I mean, it's an anti-everything mech now. It's just, I have to hit. Yes, I, I have 
Well, you know, Reed, it's not entirely accurate to call it a musket man. I'd rather call it, like, a blunderbuss man. But, uh, these, these AC-20s are doing the kind of damage I expect from AC-20s. Are you, are you fucking serious? Really? Alright, let's do this. Where you going? Where you going? I just want to talk to you about your mech's extended warranty. I'm sorry, did you? Did you? Did you just melee me, you little donkey? Oh, good God. So apparently, all of the enemies, rather than doing anything to the friendlies that we had back there have instead chosen to follow me and my three donkeys across the entire map. Even though they were clearly engaged with other forces, we suddenly became the highest priority for some reason known only to God. Listen, I'm gonna need you to hold still for me. Tango eliminated. Group target received. Take take out the veto. Take out take out the veto. I literally don't have anything to do this. You're gonna have to do it. We'll get I don't know if it's damage output or damage potential, but they clearly seem to care more about me, even though I haven't really been shooting at any of the mechs that are following. Serious? Like, how many mechs do they have? Because I'm running out of ammo. And I still have to get three kilometers in that direction to take out the other artillery. I mean, you're not wrong, Typhoon. The Rifleman is designed for anti-air operations. However, this Rifleman is not. I mean, very clearly, you're, you're not wrong, what's up? This is, this is how the dragon wins. Clog the enemy guns with your bodies. Soak up their bullets until they have none left. We have your target, Commander. I mean, again, AC-20 is powerful, but not enough ammo. And it wouldn't be quite so bad if they weren't just throwing light mech after light mech after light mech at me.
please somebody kill the things that are shooting me in the deck? Oh, it's an awesome. It's awesome. I need to save my ammo until we get up close. I gotta see if we can leg him. Jew, AD spam, AD spam. Yep, well, that's a thing that happens. You guys suck. Good lord, how much armor do you have on these legs? Oh no, there's another one. I think this might be it for me. I'm losing mechs because my dudes are butt cheeks. It's a battle master. I'm down to nine rounds. Let's make him count. Oh, we lost an arm. All right. Certainly had better days. Definitely had better days. Is it though? Uh, we didn't necessarily get the awesome. I mean, I legged it, but that doesn't necessarily mean it's going to show up in the salvage list. And even if it does, I don't think it's... We only have 21 salvage picks, so I doubt very seriously that we're actually going to get the awesome, even if it does show up on the list. It would have been better if I cored it, in hindsight. Uh, yeah, well, there it is. 36 salvage picks. Oh shit, though, we got the Battle Master! We got the Battle Master, chat. Look at all that mech salvage, though. If I had more, if I had more shares, man, I would go on, I would go on a spree if I had more shares. So we don't get the awesome, but we do get a Battle Master, and Battle Master's pretty damn good. We can just barely get it, but I will take it. Uh, let's see. Captain Vaughn did not die. Although he got cored. Yet again. Good job on that, buddy. Uh, I think the rest of these guys made it out alright, though. So let's see. We will accept. And then is there... Yep, there's another contract here. I don't... Yeah, we're in a, we're in a system where we can't repair anything. So we're going to have to go somewhere else. Um, I was hoping there would be an industrial hub somewhere nearby, but there really isn't. The closest one is, like, maybe this one? But I think I'd rather hit Davian up, because... Liao doesn't like it. So if I was gonna hit an industrial hub, I think we're gonna hit the Davian industrial hub, because we got better reputation with them. All right, so AC-20 Rifleman does a lot of good damage, has some ammo issues. Also, it's a Rifleman, so, um, armor made out of paper mache. Even with it being maxed out, which it is. The armor is 100% maxed on this thing, and it's still not very durable. So these two are okay. Uh, let's see. Loadouts. What can we do? We lost that AC-20 and we don't have one to replace it. I'm just debating on whether this thing's even worth it. Like, as a Gauss platform, it would be okay. If we put the Gauss rifles back in it, it would probably be okay. The only problem is, it doesn't suit my playstyle. And it sure as hell doesn't suit the AI. 
Like, the AI would get this thing blown up with a quickness. They would take out, like, one or two guys, and then this thing would be in pieces on the ground. So giving it to the AI really isn't an option. And... I don't... I, I again, it's not there's anything wrong with a Gauss boat, it's just not my playstyle. It's not how I like to play. Um, I think, I think I'm gonna repair this thing, and then I'm gonna cold storage it. It's fun, but it's, it's just not for me. A Battlemaster, on the other hand. A Battlemaster. I can do some stuff with a Battlemaster. Uh, no, Karen, that's, that's possible. I, I'll consider it. I mean, AC-10s are pretty decent. Um, they're certainly bread and butter type weapons. So, it, it's not out of the question, that's for sure. Uh, so we'll ditch on the weapon systems here. A battle master, though. We can do some stuff with a battle master. I don't know that I want that many heat sinks. Ooh, do we put the doubles in? Uh, does the game have different max armor for each mech or going by tonnage? So, the max armor is usually based on the mech itself. Like, different mechs can mount more armor than others. Uh, it does contribute to the overall tonnage of the mech, but like... For example, an Ermin mech is a 30-ton mech, and a Locust is a 30-ton mech. But the Ermin mech can put more armor on than a Locust can. Now, obviously, an Ermin mech is really slow, a Locust is really fast, so it's, a, it's an extreme example. But the, the maximum armor in MechWarrior 5 is determined by the chassis, not necessarily by the tonnage of the mech. But like we took we take a battle master, right? We put in three double heat sinks in the torso. And then we do like some really crazy shit. Like, let me put in a large pulse laser. Let me go down and let's go get some medium pulse lasers. Let's stick those puppies in here. Let's really get let's really get sexy with it. And then, because I already tried it and I liked it. Maybe, maybe we stick in some more AC-2s. Instead of machine guns, we go with AC-2s. What do you think, Chet? What do you think? Claymore? Claymore. Mm. Apparently, we can't use it, because it only has medium hand slots, so um, we we do not, in fact, have any Valen weapons. I think the Claymore is a... I think it's a large slot. Obviously, we're going to have to put some heat sinks in here. Uh, but with the ammo, let's, you know, two bins of ammo should be more than enough because we're getting 200 rounds per. And this is going to be firing single rounds. So that gives us 400 rounds. That'll give us plenty of ammo. However, we're overweight. So maybe we ditch one of the AC-2s. Only problem is, our heat is going to be absolutely terrible. Tony, Tony, Tony. But the three double heat sinks in the engine heat sink slots is pretty beefy. It's pretty beefy. Okay, so maybe we ditch the medium pulse lasers, because they're going to be heavier. 
And instead, we just stick in some regular old medium lasers, put in some old Frank's Red Hat. That'll give us a little more tonnage. We can put the AC2 back in. No, we can't. It still weighs too much. All right. Then... Four more heat sinks? Just throw in some regular old heat sinks. Symmetry chat. It's important. So do something like that. So we got medium lasers for up close. We got the large pulse and the AC2 for our far away. I mean, I could put machine guns in for up close, but is it really worth it, is the question. Machine guns are good. I just don't know if they're that good. Like, I, I don't know if they're good enough to justify giving up the ability to take an AC-2. Because the AC-2 is really good at long range, especially for headshots. What are you thinking, Chad? AC2 or machine guns? Because we got some good machine guns. I could cram some of these tier 5 machine guns in there. I mean, you guys know me. I'm going to be leaning towards the AC2. But... Machine guns are no joke. We've seen we we were doing that machine gun fire starter. We had the uh we had the perky fire starter towards the beginning of the campaign. We've seen the machine guns are good. They can absolutely put in work. So I'm not against the idea. But uh, I'll I'll hear your thoughts. What do you think? Oh yeah, the AC2 is basically a sniper cannon. So like, the AC-2 would be a long-range weapon to complement the large pulse laser, whereas the machine guns would be for up-close. Five medium pulse and two AC-2. We could do that, too. I had not considered that. That does feel kind of low damage for a Battlemaster, though. But let's see. So we go all medium pulse lasers. We're still overweight though. But we can drop a heat sink for that. It's going to be running very, very hot though. With medium pulse lasers. But again, I'm not opposed to it. I'm not opposed to trying it out, at least. Oh, the AC-2 does, uh, let's see, a tier 4. It's doing 2.4 damage. It's not very good as far as damage is concerned. Um, but the advantage is that it's very accurate and has long range, whereas a machine gun at tier 5 is doing 2.4. So, I mean, they're pretty much equal on damage. It's just the AC-2 is really long range. The machine gun, very, very short range. Then again, then again, here's what I'm thinking, though. If we put in the machine guns, so we don't need two bins of ammo because AC, right? Well, yeah, there's the rate of fire to consider, right? There's the rate of fire at 600 rounds per minute for the machine gun versus the AC-2, which is a rate of fire of, like, 78-ish. But again, the AC-2's main advantage is range and accuracy. The machine gun is like, oh no, get it off me. But what I'm thinking, what I'm thinking, is we throw in the large pulse. We run it like this, right? 
and then we just fill this bitch up with heat sinks like they did at the beginning. That'll let us run very, very cool. You know what? Hold on. Let's do this. Put the machine gun ammo on the head. But this will, like, by cramming this thing full of heat sinks, it'll let us run very, very cool. We can basically just fire the lasers all the time and not really worry about the heat so much. All right, yes, now. Well, glad to have you, and uh, thanks for sticking around so long. You definitely didn't have to do that. As always, I appreciate you taking the time to join us here in the stream, and I hope that you have a good sleep and an outstanding rest of your weekend. Whatever you're doing, whether you're working, having a good time, just hanging out with the family, whatever you're doing, I, I hope that you have a great rest of your weekend. Yeah, we do We do have room for the medium pulses. Just go full pulse mode on this thing. It's like, fuck it, we'll put all medium pulse lasers in it. And then we just stick a couple more heat sinks in there. Call it good. I mean, the Battlemaster traditionally is like a laser boat. Or at least the 1D is. So, having a lot of laser is good. The large laser is... I think it's underrated. Like, the large laser is not as powerful as the PPC. It, it doesn't hit as hard. But it has accuracy. It has insane accuracy. I mean, it's a laser, right? But yeah, we do have machine gun ammo. I'm I'm going to be sitting on the machine gun ammo. But yeah, we've got 5,200 rounds of machine gun ammo for two of these guys, and they're both tier 5, so... And what do we think? We good with this? We want to try it out? I like it. I mean, I think it could work. No carrying thinks it looks good. I'm looking for some kind of consensus, chat. What do you think? What do you think? Am I making a mistake? Is this a bad tactical decision? Because if so, we're good to go. And it feels like a bad tactical decision to me. Yeah, MG cans in the cockpit. That's what we do. It, I, like, I take the, the machine gun ammo. It's like, it's, it's incentive to not die. Because we get hit in the head, you're toast. So, be evasive. Although... It's hard to be evasive in a battle master, but you get the idea. I say we go with it. That's gonna be four million. Most of that is gonna be rebuilding the battle master. But I think that'll be our replacement. And uh, again, after I replace, after I repair the rifleman, I think I'm just gonna cold storage it because I, I I was not really impressed. It's a little too flimsy for what it is. Um, alright. We also need to paint it. I'm definitely going to be the one using it, so we're going to give it the correct paint job. I also like, when you look at it, you just have this giant barrel on one of the arms. I got that just... For some reason, this speaks to me. It's very phallic. I'm sorry, it's very powerful. I'm, I mean, you get the idea. Also... Let's see, what where, where are we at next? Where, what is the next mission up? Because we're going back over here, and I think we've already paid for all the repairs, right? Oh no, okay, hold up. Uh, we also, do we repair this thing? 1.3 million. Did it actually lose any weapon systems? I don't think it did. I think he just got straight up core. Yeah, we lost some heat sinks, but that's not a big deal. So let's go ahead and repair the map, the Marauder, while we're here, while we're in an industrial zone. Um, did our mans, our mans did not die, he's just gonna be injured for a little while. And let's head back. Let us head back, and we'll, we'll take on this next mission. Let's do it. And general quarters, I see you. Hydration income.
Yeah, there's there are some benefits to no mods, although I will definitely say I think I prefer the idea of mods, especially with some of the quality of life stuff. Like, there are some very... very important, like, quality of life nags that I have about this game that, that kind of drive me insane, but uh, a lot of those can be fixed with mods. Alright, let's see. There are a number of satellite arrays that must be destroyed in order to stage our ambush, enter Wong Tai Sin City, and destroy the network. Alright, fair enough. On the plus side, because we're working for House Liao, we're increasing our reputation for the Capellans. Remember, they were like minus 90 at one point. We're back up to like minus 46. So, we're making a comeback. We're making a comeback. We're pissing off St. Ives in the process, but we're making a comeback. Mind the weather, Commander. It'll compromise your visibility. Fine, let's throw in the Battle Master, and that's actually going to put us right at the tonnage limit. It's going to take quite a while. Um, do we... I mean, Vine is supposed to be pretty good, and he's got good potentials. He'll be good in three days. It'll be fine. It'll take longer than that to fix the mechs. Hi, Che. You know what time it is. Let's make it hot. Alright, first time in the Battlemaster cockpit. Let's see what we get. I like it. I like it. It looks suitably chunky. Alright, what are we dealing with here? Oh my. Look at all the aircraft. Oh, weapon groups. Sorry. Weapon groups. I want... I want the mediums on group one, because they're going to be the majority of my bread and butter damage. Uh, we'll put the machine guns on two, because I'm going to use them up close. And we will put the large on three. Because the large is going to be situational. Alright, let's see. All right. All right. All right. I like it. Doing well so far. I mean, I'm I'm clearly a better rifleman than the rifleman. Fire. 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 Oh, mama. Oh, mama. I don't know if I should be holding still in the middle of a war zone, but sure, Rihanna, since you say so. Uh, Chet? I think we're onto something here. I think we're onto something here. Is that... Okay, it is, in fact, a turret. I was not just seeing things. I don't know if it's just the mechs that we're after, but man. Uh, I'm definitely feeling the difference in the power level. Why shoot the satellite dish when you can just walk through it? Y'all go after that turret, please. I'll, I'll worry about this. That works too, I suppose. I think this was my target. 
Might have done good. Yeah, I think I like it. I think I like it. Tom to mama. Take you out of the sky. Come to mama. Where are you going? Where are you going? Again, I just want to talk to you about your mech's extended warranty. Oh, did they, they actually took him out? All right, I guess that works. I don't, what are we doing? Are we actually destroying the uplink or what? Because it doesn't feel like it. Get out of my damn way, you donkeys. Oh, you're trying to headshot this man? Oh, you're, you're over here fist fighting. Why am I not surprised? Why am I not surprised? All right, what's next? Got a couple more objectives in this direction. Let's go take care of them. Yeah, the Wub Wubs are unleashed, and man, uh, again, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling the power of that machine gun ammo between my legs. Wait, what? I had I barely fired the machine guns. God, the pulse lasers are so good. Chat, why did you let me sleep on pulse lasers for so long? I blame you entirely for this. Let's see, what do we got? More more dishes? Are we destroying more dishes? Oh, hello, another enforcer. Yeah, that's... That's actually much easier to headshot. I- I'm sorry? Get out of my fucking way, please? Jesus. Like, trying to back up out of the artillery and the dude's just like, Actually, I'm gonna stand right in the middle of you. I cannot believe that I found that magic spot. But I'm not gonna let you get forced in the mouth. Oh, mama. Of course, the artillery. Always with the artillery. Fucking artillery. Oh, hell. No, really, where is this artillery? It better be over here. Oh, no, it's, it's over on the other side. Uh -huh. Return to our forward operating base. There is much that we need to discuss to prepare for our ambush. So where is the pickup zone? Was a great showing, no, no, I don't think I will. will be with our 
Yeah, you still haven't told me where the pickup zone is. Could you maybe give me that? Yeah. Oh. And Kai was saying he got a good sub in just session. I heard last sub session was kind of ass with a 100 Bezos bucks donation. Uh, we definitely gotten better, better stuff this time around, as evidenced by the fact that we are currently in a Bowmaster that is wrecking shop. So, uh, where, where is the extraction zone that we're supposed to be going to? Like, it says go to- oh, good lord. Nope. We're dodging artillery, Chet. We are dodging artillery. This thing is way too slow for me to even consider going out to destroy that artillery. As best I can tell though, only like the slowest of assault mechs is actually slow enough that you can't get out of the artillery. Like as long as you just stay moving forward, like continue your forward momentum, that's usually enough to get you out. Unless you just get really bad dice rolls on the artillery. Like that one. Oh, no, we managed to avoid that one, too. I'm genuinely surprised. We're almost there. We're almost there. We're moving at 64 kph, but at least it's not an Irby. Yeah, let's let's get me out of here because this is some BS. You can dodge Ernie in the Annihilator. I mean, if so, that's impressive. I I mean, the Annihilator is pretty damn slow. It is pretty damn slow, but we all know that. Like that, that's kind of the running joke, right? Yeah, we'll take the Jenner. What else? So, I mean, you know what? Some AC-10s? I'm not gonna turn my nose up at them. And we got one more salvage pick, so... Uh, the Frank's Red Hot. And that was pretty good. All things considered. I, I definitely expected us to take way more damage on that one, but once again, we are in a system... ...where we can't repair shit. Three months remain to accept contract. Uh... Are we... Chad, do we get stuck in? I tell you what. I tell you what. We've been live for about seven and a half hours. And I need to get some food, because I am I'm about to cave in. So, I think we're going to call it here. It's February 3031. And we're now looking at potentially doing the Rise of the Rassel Hag, which I know Erst, Erst is all about those folks. So, what I will do, what I will do, we're going to call the stream here. But... I want you guys to go check out on the Twitter machine after the stream. I'm going to put up a poll. And I'm going to let you guys decide whether or not we're going to spend the time getting stuck into this part of the campaign. This is one of the DLCs. I'll let you guys make the decision. So I will put up a poll on the Twitter machine that you guys can vote on. And I'm going to leave it up. I'm going to leave it up for the whole week. So you will have plenty of time to get your votes in before we do the next stream and make the decision. Uh, but let me, let me drop the save as we do, just to be safe. You never know. Let's head back to the office, shall we? So, we, we had a good day. We had a good day in the Inner Sphere.
Um, we made some money. We made some comebacks. We put back our we put our mechs back together. We even scored a battle master. And I gotta say, I mean, maybe we were just doing an easy mission. I don't know. But so far, those pulse lasers in the battle master, mm, chef's kiss, chef's kiss, outstanding so far. So uh, I, I'm liking it. I'm liking it. I hope that it continues to perform. We will see. Again, Battlemaster is one of those classic old school mechs. Laser bow, good stuff, good stuff. We didn't really get to play with a Battlemaster in uh, the BTA campaign, so it's nice to see one here in Mech Warrior Five. Ah, but we got we got plenty more missions to do. There's plenty more content in the campaign. We're already leveling up our rep. We're getting more reputation with the factions, so we're getting there slowly but surely. Slowly but surely. And now with the new DLC out, now that I know it's only $15, I think I can probably float $15 to get to, to, to get our, our man's, our man's Duncan Fisher back into the game. And uh, maybe we'll check out some of the Solaris content as well on this, on this playthrough. Um, but we will see. I don't know. Come what may, that'll be up for you guys to decide. But in the meantime, I want to thank you guys for coming out to the stream, as always, on a Saturday or whatever day that I decide to stream. I, as always, you like you guys, you guys make this stream what it is. Without you, there is no stream. I'm just putting on the show. I'm just the monkey dancing in the center ring of this circus. But it's you guys that make this what it is. So for those of you that were here, uh, you know, again, life is a roller coaster of challenges. We don't all have a lot of time on this planet. And your time is precious. So I want to thank you for every minute that you chose to spend with me and spend with this community. You do not have to do that. And I absolutely appreciate that time. Thank you for spending it with me. Thank you for spending it with this community. It means a lot to me, even if no one else says it. Thank you so much. For those of you that donated the bits and the subs and all that stuff, thank you guys as well. I say it a million times and I'll say it a million more. You don't have to support the stream that way, but it means so, so much to me that you feel like I've created the kind of content and the kind of community that you want to support in that way. So thank you. Thank you so much, but never feel like you have to do that. Even if you just spent the whole stream lurking and listening, that's all that matters. Again, your time is precious and thank you for spending some of it here. And as always, I want to remind you, like I always do, that your life has value and that the world is a better place with you in it. Never let anyone tell you otherwise, and I'll see you next time.